All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one, the only, paid to drive. Happy Thanksgiving. I think I may do a Thanksgiving vlog showing my family's uh, Thanksgiving spread and what we're eating and all that stuff. But I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? Let me know in the comments section. Leave a quick comment or in, in the chat say, yes, Pete, we want to see the Thanksgiving feast. I know John Christophic does every year. I'm going to just kind of get straight to the point with this. Huge, 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 but simple thing to keep in mind when you are doing deliveries on Thanksgiving. Okay. Um, first and foremost, it's typically going to be relatively slow during the lunch and dinner rush on thanksgiving for obvious reasons the whole purpose of thanksgiving is the thanksgiving meal and being with friends and family at the big table and blah 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 and all that um but for those of you that are going to do uh morning deliveries especially um please keep in mind a lot of restaurants uh that are you're receiving orders from i'm gonna say like 80% of them are actually closed and a lot of them do not turn their tablets off so they just leave them on so customers are putting in orders and they're getting submitted through DoorDash and Grubhub and Uber Eats and all that stuff because the tablets are on so the the automated system through Grubhub and DoorDash and Uber Eats and Postmates they they can't differentiate whether or not the restaurant is open or not in most cases maybe this year they they fixed it they patched it I don't know um but when you are receiving orders, do yourself a favor and the customer a favor. When an order comes in, call the restaurant first. It's not really so much the fast food places. Those will probably be open to just keep that in mind. But just from my two years experience of doing this and working on holidays, um, you're going to want to call these restaurants first. I know it's a pain in the neck, but just call them, say, you know, hi, this is so, this is so and so, uh, are you guys open for the whole day or whatever? So obviously if somebody answers the phone, chances are they're going to be open, you know, for that order, obviously. Um, but in case they're not, you definitely, 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 uh, want to make sure you're staying in contact. So if you call multiple times and no, there's no answer, call DoorDash, call Grubhub or Uber Eats, let them know what's going on. And then perhaps uh, maybe even reach out to the customer and let them know what's going on as well. Uh, you don't necessarily want to take matters into your own hands in case there's some sort of a discrepancy. Always cover yourself. Seriously, that's very important. But on that note, uh, that's my little tip for this video. I hope you uh, found that to be useful. I'd really appreciate it if you smash the like down below and subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button and tapping the post notification bell on to all. I will see all of you guys tonight on pay to drive 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific for the PTD Power Half Hour. I have no idea what I'm talking about yet on there, but we'll see. But on that note, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a quick comment in the chat or in the comments saying PTD. All right, take care of yourselves and each other and peace the heck out.